It is Monday, the 24th of February, 2020. Today I'm having a dual brain transplant. What I'm talking about here is behind the glove box there, there's a full self driving computer, hardware free upgrade available to me. My car was delivered in November of 20, sorry, it was made in November of 2018 and delivered in December of 2018. And then in spring, I made the decision when the prices were lower to go for the FSD upgrade, optional. Okay, you're seeing I'm way to the right because of the wide lane there. And then it swings a little to the left. And little movements of the steering wheel there. To the right, to the left, there you go. So now you witness the laxity in lane keeping. Uh, next, what we'll need to try to do is witness the let's hang out in the left lane too long thing, camping on the left lane, which is for passing only. Okay, as soon as I turn that on, I'll get autopilot on, you change lanes to the left. Okay. Alright, we're done overtaking the car. And there's no reason to hang on this lane. I'm gonna bring my speed down so I can slot in behind this car ahead of me. And I'm clearly in the way. And now there's the car coming up behind me so I can accelerate. I don't want to make an unsafe situation. My GoPro had a mic problem, but here I am finding my odometers gone, my lifetime mileage and all that. It's like, ooh, uh, my profile, hmm, valet mode and profile. Back of factory defaults, blank FM presets, not good. Ah, phew, short time later, Tesla service was able to restore my settings. You'll see my odometer looks normal on the bottom left. My navigation maps were a little old. I didn't notice that at the time. That's what that red box was. All right, so now it's time for me to Bluetooth pair my phone before hitting the road. So... I had trouble with that. Um, that was my second time trying it. So finally I just pushed the brake pedal and pushed and held the buttons and restarted the computer. And what do you know, it's fine. Bluetooth pairing with my phone now proceeded without incident. So you'll also see the word Paul at the top there. So my profiles are back as well. All right, phone coming back up. Um, now I want to turn on sync messages. And once you do that, you need to go into Bluetooth settings on your phone and change the setting there to allow it to work. And then basically it disconnects momentarily from Bluetooth and reconnects, and you're about to see that here. And once all that's done, I'm ready to hit the road. And here I am, out on the highway, heading back, and there's no ping-ponging. So you'll see the solid blue line, navigating autopilot is on, headed towards an exit ramp. It is staying nice, and locked on right near the center of the lane. It's not meandering or ping-ponging, it's sometimes called. And here comes a pretty sharp radius turn. Car is gonna slow down. And it's a little sloppy, staying a little too far to the left edge there. My hands are on the wheel, I'm ready to intervene if I need to. But I'm just pointing that out. And it's also warning me about the um, high curve angle there. And then a little swinging to the left there, that was sloppy again. No cars were around, not a big deal. I'm just pointing out there's still some issues with 2020.4.1 software. All right, back down around town. I turn on visualizations at this point in the menu option. You saw some painted arrows in the road there. And here come traffic lights. And this is cool for me to see that hardware three really was working. Everything was fine. It's tracking a lot of complicated uh, nearby car movement near me, near me and um, the one finger lets you move around, two fingers lets you zoom in and zoom out, three fingers lets you slide behind your car and look several cars back if you want, it's pretty cool. And turn on the rear camera, you can see a Mustang right behind me. All right, let go, the view goes back to defaults, and now I'm ready to, um, well, go back to enjoying my car and not think about autopilot uh, hardware anymore. So I'm successfully on hardware three, everything's great, and when I got home I went ahead and did the updates that were remaining for the net maps. If you haven't picked up your Tesla Model 3 from its hardware 3 upgrade retrofit, please do consider reading this article, the whole thing. Um, the important part is right up top here, the checklist. So when you get home, or actually before you actually drive off the lot, make sure you got all your settings. Ask them politely if your settings are missing. That's what happened to me, right? Um, and others, okay? Next, before you hit the road, go ahead and repair your Bluetooth like I showed in the video. And then finally, when you get home and you're back on Wi-Fi, you need to enter your Wi-Fi password. And now you've got some bandwidth. 
and you can go ahead and finish up the software update for navigation data and game update and go ahead and log in your um, online entertainment account. So that'll really help you learn from my little rough edges and my experience with my hardware three upgrade. All right. If you click on Tesla here, you can see I have many articles about Tesla model three experience with uh, two of them over 27, actually 28,000 combined miles. Now, hopefully you found this video helpful. I thank you for watching and thank you for visiting tinkertry.com.